This is the second video in our series on BPH, benign enlargement of the prostate, something that affects almost all men as we get older. Stay with us as we talk through what causes the symptoms, what these symptoms are, and how we can lay down the foundations for investigating and treating these symptoms. So BPH affects almost all men at some point in their lives. It occurs more frequently as we get older, and you can see here that by the age of 80, 90% of men are affected. The lower urinary tract consists of the bladder, the urethra, and the prostate. It's the prostate that is the source of much of our urinary problems as men. The prostate sits around the base of the bladder. It's a reproductive organ and has no use after you've had children. Generally, as we get older, it increases in size both outwards and inwards and starts to put pressure on the urethra. In this way, the system is a bit like a partially blocked sink and we get problems with the flow of urine and associated symptoms. Sometimes there's growth of a third lobe, the median lobe of the prostate, and this can cause symptoms in men at an earlier age. In severe cases of BPH, the urine may not empty from the bladder completely and this can further contribute to symptoms that men suffer with an enlarged prostate. Here we can see the bladder and the urethra and how the prostate sits around the base of the bladder. In cases of mild enlargement of the prostate, you can see there is nodular growth and this is compressing the urethra, causing problems with flow of urine. In severe cases, the prostate is markedly enlarged, the urethra is compressed, and there is urine held back in the bladder. You see here the common symptoms are a feeling of not emptying the bladder, frequency, which is a feeling of going too often, intermittency, a start-stop flow, urgency is that feeling that you can't delay and must go immediately, a weak stream, straining to start the flow, and getting up at night. We think of the symptoms as being divided into two groups, those that originate primarily from an enlarged prostate and those that originate from the bladder. The bladder can be a source of symptoms on its own from other disease processes or from irritation of the bladder as the muscle works hard to squeeze against a blockage from the prostate. The symptoms of frequency, urgency and going at night are considered overactive bladder symptoms or OAB. Flow symptoms such as hesitancy, a start-stop flow, weak stream and straining come more from an enlarged prostate. Of course you can have both sets of symptoms and it's common that the enlarged prostate causes bladder issues giving you symptoms from both groups. To finish, here's an animation of what it looks like when we view the prostate with a telescope. You can see the prostate lobes pressing into the urethra and blocking the view into the bladder. The treatments that we use to help with symptoms aim to unblock the urethra and restore a good channel from the bladder. That's a summary of the problems associated with benign prostate enlargement. The next video in our series will look at some of the surgical treatment options for this. You'll find this video on our channel, so please do subscribe and stay tuned for our contact details.